Hello, welcome to Sound and Fury Book Reviews. As usual, I'm Tina. Before I get into this, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as the last two reviews. I had to do a bulk kind of filming because of being sick. So anyway, uh, just in case you're wondering if I ever changed my clothes. No, I don't. Uh, so today I am reviewing Children of the Black by W.J. Long III. This is a book that came out in 2022. It's a sci-fi. It's self-published. And I read this book as one of the semi-finalists assigned to our team for the SPSSC3. The finals have been assigned, so while we're to have them done in early June, I'll be busting out those reviews a few weeks after. So I'm doing a lot of self-published reading in, uh, in May. Uh, this book, quite the whopper at 700 or so pages, Trim the Black is nevertheless an interesting, exciting, and fun sci-fi. What was it about? A broken soldier and a lost psionic girl, both haunted by ruined histories, seek a powerful secret once capable of bringing solace to a desperate one war-torn universe. But now, in a time of uneasy peace, it holds a more destructive power. Uniquely qualified and entirely in over their heads, the two must embark on an adventure that contains not just the answers to their shattered pasts, but perhaps the secret to saving humanity's future as well. The novel is definitely a sci-fi thriller in that there are a lot of fight scenes, the story begins as a military sci-fi, and is a we're being hunted plot regarding the main characters. The characters, as they were, are interesting, and you care about them, especially the little girl Vision. I will admit, though, that's a silly name. <laughs> Claude and the antagonist's motives make sense, so you are motivated to follow their journeys, and the side characters have enough space given to developing them that they feel fleshed out and real. I liked all the characters, I thought they were all, all great. The action scenes were well described, and quite frankly, the second best element of the story, as they were fun and exciting. The best thing about the novel is the world building, though. We're given a future where humanity lives on different planets, but as usual, there are still slums versus the rich zones, the haves and the have-nots. There's also this underlying deceased alien civilization that the cities and technology have been based upon, which is a sci-fi trope that I'm extremely fond of. <laughs> Little trinkets dropped here and there, but the floral islands were fun, and they grew more relevant as the story moved along, especially when it dealt with the one character, Zara, talking about alien languages. That was so cool. I was like, oh, no one ever talks about this. They always can just somehow, you know, understand everything, but this, but no, she had to, like, decode it all. I was like, oh, so neat. I really enjoy this novel, though I will confess I didn't love it. So by about page 400, I was like, okay, <laughs> 200 more pages. Oh, my God. There is a considerable amount of head hopping that kind of distracted me. My dudes, this is a gender neutral term, unless you're using omniscient point of view, which is a very specific point of view and rarely seen, you need clear delineation as to when your camera, so to speak, is moving from one character to another. Head hopping happens so much in this novel, my brain kicked into editor mode and I hate my brain kicks into editor mode. <laughs> Yet, I will say, unlike some self-published books that I've read, this was pretty much the only thing about it that I can critique writing-wise. The writing, other than that, was, you know, very polished, it's well-paced, it's lacking grammatical errors, and the head-hopping, you know, might not even be noticeable to other people. It's just, it's my day job, so I see it. <laughs> I will say this book used the cliche, let out a breath they didn't know they were holding more than once, which made me laugh. Not, not in a mean way, but because, because of my job as an editor, nine out of 10 authors use this stupid phrase at least once in their books. So whenever I see it, it always makes me laugh because I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> Overall, though, I will say this is an extremely enjoyable sci-fi that deserved to move into the finals of the SPSFC, and I was very glad that uh, our team was assigned it. I was also glad that our team was assigned it in the semis round and not the finalists because it's so long. <laughs> anyway, if you're looking for some self-published sci-fi to check out and you want a, kind of a thriller sci-fi, I totally recommend checking out Children in Black. It was, it was really fun. So thanks.